Hello again YouTube and I'm back with an update video and uh, this time here I uh, want to update you folks and give some people maybe some suggestions um, on uh, their solar uh, setup. Here I installed a manual transfer switch, another one beside this particular manual transfer switch and what this is, this allows me to hook up a uh, generator and it allows me to switch between the inverter and the generator. Um, now I had a uh, just a regular uh, switch up here uh, before, but in an attempt to make this system a little more full uh, foolproof, and so that you know people won't uh, make a mistake and hook and hook up a generator here, and and blow up my inverter, uh, you know I just decided to put a, a transfer switch so I can switch between the inverter or the generator with this particular switch right here. Again, this is just for safety's sake. And so my system now is set in such a way that if the power is out, I plug in a generator here and I flip between the inverter and my generator can power the rest of my house. And not only that, but it can also, it, uh, it can also power the input side of my inverter and pass that power on to my batteries to charge them up really quick. Again, this is just a safety measure. And what this, this particular uh, transfer switch is a uh, Reliance CSR302. And it was really simple to, to wire and hook up. I mean, really simple. I mean, the diagram, is it comes there, and it's pretty straightforward. And uh, really simple. And uh, just like this one here, I mean, if you were an electrician, I'm sure you'd do this all day long. Uh, but again, this is just for some additional safety so that, you know, I have, you know, the reason I have to, I had to put this in here is because I have multiple sources of potentially uh, power. This this transfer switch will, will switch between um, uh, regular utility and whether or not I'm going through the inverter or a regular generator. So this is the transfer switch that'll, you know, switch between, uh, uh, you know, my critical circuits, which are six of them, uh, to include um, the water heater. And this right here will switch between uh, the inverter and, my, and a 240 uh, volt generator that I have. I have a propane generator. And in a future video, I'm going to hook all of it up just so you folks can see it um, in action. Uh, in, in kind of give you a better idea of what I'm talking about. But again, this is just an additional safety measure so that, uh, you know, to make, you know, the system more foolproof um, in, you know, to kind of help just in case. Uh, because even though, yes, I could have put a switch here that says, you know, turn off before you hook up a generator. There are those times where, you know, you may forget or other people may not know and you know cause some issue so anything that I can do to add a little bit more safety to the system I say do it uh, because just you know just to say it you know hey I I accident early on in, in this solar thing I accidentally you know I was trying this back feeding thing and what I did was I flipped <laughs> this main breaker here and guess what I had an inverter plugged in and I forgot and I blew the inverter okay uh, what am I saying was that stupid yes very stupid um, and I've seen videos where folks are, you know, they, they show you how to back feed in your home and, and, you know, in the event of an emergency and I'm here to tell you, okay, in the event of emergency, Hey, do what you got to do. All right. However, however, um, you know, part of being prepared is, you know, doing whatever you got to do safely so that you can stay alive. And so with that in mind, um, you know, I do recommend if you're going to back feed into your home, get a transfer switch so that you can protect, you know, others as well as yourself. Uh, well, you know, this transfer switch, a, a transfer switch like this will allow you to energize certain critical circuits in your home and get an interlock kit. I mean, get an interlock. It was really simple to install. I had an electrician do it. And this will allow you to safely and legally backfeed to your home, um, all of your circuits to your home. So again, YouTube, just a little update video and with the emphasis on, you know, safety and making your system a little more safe for yourself and everybody else. Okay, take care, YouTube.